I'm going to read a quote to you, and I'd like to hear what your impression is. Studying the martial arts is not something one adapts to in his life, but rather one adapts the life to the art. It means changing one's values, attitudes, and behavior. It does not mean taking up a hobby. In other words, I go home myself and I do drink a glass of wine or two, but I don't drink the whole bottle, <laughs> right? Yes. When I came to America, I used to smoke regular cigarette. And the reason I smoked regular cigarette is because when I was in war, cigarette smoking was the least of the, of the toxication someone can take. The vices. The vices. So I just start puffing it, you know, and because you don't know if tomorrow you're gonna survive, you know, and just, it become a routine, a habit. When I came to America, I find it myself, I'm still smoking cigarette. And this time I'm inhaling. Nobody would know, I know. Then I said, how can I say to my student, have self-control? I need to deal with it myself first before I teach it to the student. So I did stop smoking. I put a bunch of cigarettes in my mouth here, two or three, wear my Taekwondo dobak. It was on Broadway. And when the class left, I stayed there and I start practice with the cigarette in my mouth and look at myself to the mirror and get that feedback. And I hated myself. I disliked myself. And since then, since 79, I don't put a cigarette in my mouth. We need to adapt ourselves to the art because the art is handed to us from the ancient and from the sages is like a treasure. Mm. They were, they were, they work hard, they were so pure, you know, and they gave it from a generation to generation, a technique and a philosophy and, and so forth. And what we do to it, we, we start stab the art and we start cut it and we start deform it. We need to adapt our way of life to the art. Then the art will give back to us. Like John F. Kennedy, he told, don't say what your country want to do to you. What you going to give to your country. Yes, sir, sir. So when the art, when you give to your art good things, your art surely will give you a lot of immeasurable uh, gift. On that issue, we've talked before about the nature of Buddha, Buddha, war, war, spirit. yes, spirit. the warrior spirit. Uh -huh. For contemporary times, how would you describe Buddha or the warrior nature for a modern Taekwondo student, and let's say from black belt beyond, not a novice. Let's take an example. I'll take you as an example, Christopher. <laughs> you know, since you are the interviewer, you have the Buddha spirit. Like many of my students here, they went through life. They went through, life went in their way. It went their way in a bad way, right? And they got that spirit. This is the Buddha spirit. You are a red belt, but you are not a red belt. You got it yesterday. <laughs> you got your red belt since uh, 79, uh, right? Long time ago. So you are a master red belt, but that's <laughs> meaning you are awesome. That's great. This is the spirit. The whole situation is about a modern warrior. Is when you are confessed with, with, with diversity in life. And we bend, but we don't knock out. We don't broke. This is when they give us the bamboo example in the ancient. Or be like the bamboo. Bend like the bamboo. What does this mean? That's meaning life is going to bend you, going to take you, and going to dance with you. But you're going to end up straight in the end. This is the Buddha spirit for the industrial monk. The monk of every day. A warrior spirit. You go there, you as an attorney, and you have, and I bet you, and I guarantee you that if you have one of those clients, 
and he told you, Mr. Martu, I don't have money. I lost my job. I'm going to withdraw my case. I'll bet you you'll tell him you stay because I know. This is important. That's the word of spirit. I have people here in the school. I don't even, I can mention this. They have this warrior spirit. People were on drugs. People were abused. People, they see their, their, their partner die next to them. People were, they lost. And, and then stand up and continue the journey. Like we were talking in the meditation. Dante Inferno. We came to hell and we climb to paradise slowly and gradually. This is the addict way. The addict who want to come back clean and alive with certain diversity in our life. So this is the Buddha spirit. It should be present in everybody. And the Buddha spirit, Chris, it cannot be taught. It can, pass, can be passed to other generations. We can't teach the Buddha spirit. We can teach the principle of Buddha spirit. Courage. It's teaching courage. Yes, we can teach courage. By setting an example, by encouraging our students and our sake to take courageous things in life. Courage exercise, like jumping over four people, that's to build courage. <laughs> Standing in front of, this, of the class and, 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 and you feel you are afraid, embarrassed, and say, Say something, teach a class, that teach courage. You have $500 and you have to share it, that takes courage, right? Uh, uh, confronting, you don't know how to swim, you see somebody in the pool and you know, and, 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 and you, wanna, you have the attitude, you wanna throw yourself and just to help them, even this is courage. Knowledge, second one. Courage, knowledge, and awareness. Those are the important traits of Buddha. And all martial artists, they should display that. But they can display it if the leader don't show it or teach it. This is part of the Buddha. The Buddha in, in, in the United States is different than the Buddha in Japan. Because the Japanese culture is totally different. The way the anatomy of the Japanese family is different than here. Japan, it's, it's a land of samurai. It's a land of feudal land. In the household, the father passes leadership to the son and he retires. The wife does this and that. And the whole, it's built on honor, the Buddha. It's built on, I give you my word. While we come to, to, to a modern society where, where people need to sign a contract to their world. And if you don't sign a contract to their world, you find the closest person in your life. Sometimes they betray your world. You would, you would loan someone close to you with certain amount of money or certain things and tell them, oh, you don't need to sign a paper. And one day you die, or I die, and then and you, and you say, oh, no, I didn't take from him. But a martial art who lives in the modern society with the Buddha spirit, he maintains certain tradition of the past that to transcend the industrial society we live with. That's why I call someone an industrial monk. <laughs> Who's that? Good term. Grandmaster Shanin, what is the attribute or nature of today's Taekwondo students? that you, the area that you might see as an area of deficiency, an area that we can all improve in? Before I embarked in the United States, I stayed for a while in Europe, and I met masters there, Korean masters, Oriental master, friend of mine, and they tell me, oh, you're lucky you're going to America and you're going to teach Taekwondo there. I say, maybe. And they say that American student, no good. I say, what do you mean? He said, they, know, and they don't grasp this, 
the, the principle in the philosophy of the martial art. I said to him, I don't know what the American student are, but student is a student, is up to the master to lead them to the water. When I came to the state and associated with a different type of, of student, when I first came, remember, it was the middle 70, the electronic era and the information area and the communication area was not as it was in the 10 years later, in the mid-80s. Mm -hmm. In the 80s, we had the computer. Okay? But we didn't have much the internet. 90 and up, we still have, we, the internet came, and in the internet came, it became a huge highways of connecting people together and sharing information. So, there is a difference between the mentality and the attitude of that part, that student, that group of students at that time, as far as understanding knowledge and as far as preoccupying their mind with something else. Nothing was disturbing their mind 100%, except the drug. They were absolutely on drug. And they were in total secrecy. And I can say, you, I had many students when I was on Broadway, were actually on drug. I didn't even know about it, because I am innocent. Until I was told, who are they? Later on, down the road. Then in the generations that follow, you have, you want to spend time in the computer. You can learn through the DVD. Uh, you have some other attraction you could go through, you know, and, and so forth. So the mind start get moved away from focusing. Different culture taking the mind. Mm. The different, the, the computer culture, the internet culture, the cyber culture, the, 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 the everything. They, you can go now, I don't need to show you any, any technique. You can go on any internet and any, and, and, you, and you say, Master Shanine, they tell you who I am. And sometimes they can tell you when is latest I got uh, last shoes I bought. <laughs> or if you want to say who is uh, WTF, you can go directly and you be in the WTF right now while you're staying here. All right? So, where is the teacher place now? Where is the teacher place? In the past, we traveled, we seek, we yearned for the teacher. We took effort to travel and money so we can go there and learn a few things. We didn't have a camera, nothing, except our memory, our note, and our will to learn. And we honor those information. And we go and we practice it. In our mind, we're not too much busy with stuff. Nowadays, some student, you teach them a form, then they want to learn the next one. He doesn't wait for you to tell him when you want to learn the next one. He goes on the internet, he said, he punched, let's say, form choreo, boom, boom, boom. They show him probably millions of form choreo in different master. So now you bring the master to your bedroom, to your, to your home, through the video. The things I see in, in the student in general is they want to do many things in one time, meaning, let's say, Everybody coming here, they have a good intention. They want to learn. But they have things to do. A mother, she needs to take care of her baby, of her work, of her job. Like I said, to work on, do stuff. So the mind is not 100% focused. So the focus. The second 
the ego. The third, individuality, not individuation.